Hello, and welcome to Building with AppSheet. I'm Chris Bailey, a Product Marketing Manager at Google, and in this video, I'll show you how you can create your own journaling app from a Google Sheet. Before we get started, let's take a look at the app we'll be building. You can copy and customize the app using the link provided in the description below. First, I can create new entries by selecting either of these pluses. Here, I can choose a mood, a title for the entry, activities I've completed that day, notes, and a photo. Once I've logged my entry, I can look it up in either the Entries view or the Calendar view. Now let's get started in building our app. The key to creating a great app is to set up your data appropriately. I've already prepared some data for this app that you can access below, so feel free to copy that sheet and follow along. You'll want to have your headers at the top of each column and your data listed below. You should also make sure to have a key column so that each row has a unique value that will allow AppSheet to identify it. And it's also helpful to add in a few rows of data before you create your app, so AppSheet can tell what kind of data is in each column, such as dates, time, text, and photos. And don't worry if you don't have data for every column, you can always add it later. For our journal app, I've created three tables. One that logs our journal entries, one that lists out the different moods I may be feeling, and one to list out activities I have completed throughout the day. One other tip here, I really like having images in my app. To add an image in AppSheet, all you need is a link to the image, whether that's stored in Drive or out on the web. Here I've already added some image links to make it easier for us to build our app. Now, once we have all our data added, we can go to Tools, AppSheet, Create an App, and AppSheet is going to read our data and create a prototype of our app. All right, we've now landed in the AppSheet editor and we can see a preview of our app here on the right. The next step is to define how AppSheet should read and interact with our data. Let's go to Data, Tables, and add the other two tables from our Google Sheet. Now let's go to Columns, Entries. Here we can see how AppSheet is interpreting each of the columns in our Entries table. And because we already added some data to that table, it's reading most of these columns correctly. For instance, it's marked the Key column as Key, it's labeled Date as Type Date, Time as Time, and so on. Now let's make some additional manual edits so our app runs the way we want it to. For key, which is the second row here, let's uncheck show and editable, and then for initial value, add in this formula, unique ID, so that our app automatically creates a key whenever we add a new journal entry. Next, let's edit our mood column. Instead of scrolling over this time, let's click on the little pencil on the left. This column type is set as ref which means it's referencing the data we have in the Moods table. That's perfect. Let's set the input mode to Buttons and click Done. Next, let's edit Activities. In our journal entries, we'll want to be able to select more than one activity, so we are going to choose Enum List as our type, which stands for Enumerated List. Check Allow Other Values and Autocomplete Other Values. Base Type Ref, Reference Table Activities, input mode buttons, and enter this formula in the data validity section. This is essentially telling AppSheet to show the options listed in our activities table when we make a new journal entry. And let's go ahead and save it. Now let's change notes to long text. Select title as our label instead of photos. And on our moods table, unselect label on our Unicode column. Then hit save. And let's open up a form in our app preview to see what we've just done. We can see the emojis from our moods table listed out as buttons. And we can select multiple activities which have both the image and name on each. 
Now for the fun part. Let's create our views. Go to UX Views and let's create our first view which we'll call Entries. For me, AppSheet has already created a draft of this view, so I'll just click into it and make the following changes. For this data, Entries, View Type Deck, Position Left, Sort by Time, Descending, Group by Date, Descending, Let's keep the main image as photo. Primary header, we'll set to title. Secondary header, activities. Summary column, mood. And then in display for icon, let's grab a book icon. Finally in behavior, let's select row swiped right as edit. And you can see your changes updated here in the entries view. Now let's create a view for new entries that can be accessed from the bottom menu. So let's go new view, name it new entry, for this data entries, view type is form, position center. For finish view, let's select entries. And for our display icon, let's type plus and do that one. Finally, let's create a calendar view. We'll select new view. View type is calendar. We'll name the view calendar, set position to right, start date date, start time time, end date date, end time time, description, title, and let's set category as mood, make sure the default view is month, and for display Let's type calendar and let's go with this one. Finally, we have one extra view here, moods, which I don't really want. So let's collapse our views, find the moods view and delete it. All right, hit save. And now you can see our three views, entries, new entry, and calendar along the bottom of our app preview. Now let's adjust the look and feel of our app. Let's go to UX, brand, and I'm going to choose blue as my primary color. I'll show my view name in the header, and for style, I'll select the third option. That's it. You've created your very own journaling app. Now, if you download the AppSheet app on your phone and log in, you should be able to access your app. From here, feel free to start logging your journal entries, or you can add more customizations to your app, such as new charts, additional data, or you could even set up reminders on your phone using AppSheet automation. For more information on Google Cloud, Google Workspace, and AppSheet, check out these links below. Thanks for watching and happy app building.